Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at the new partnership between the UK, Japan and Italy. A new partnership to build their next generation stealth fighter jets together. The Defence Minister of Japan, Britain and Italy joined forces to form a collaborative entity dedicated to creating an innovational fighter jet. This decision came as each nation seeks to enhance cooperation and to address escalating dangers or poses risk that are in China, Russia and North Korea. The three countries have reached an agreement to combine their separate plans. This includes Japan's Mitsubishi FX, which is set to replace the retiring F2s developed alongside the United States, as well as Britain's Tanpes. The result of this collaboration will be a new combat aircraft that is expected to be deployed in 2035. Japan continues to strengthen its military. Its aim is to enhance its ability to address China's increasingly assertive behavior. The risk and problems spanning from Europe to Indo-Pacific are evidence to all. According to the proposal, a collaboration of entity known as the GCAP, International Government Organization, will handle the private sector partnership involving Mitsubishi Heavy from Japan, BAE System from Britain and the Leonardo Company from Italy to supervise the process of the aircraft development. The organization will have a workforce around several hundred individuals from each country and will be based in Britain. A Japanese official will serve as its leader while the Italian representative will head the joint venture. The leadership roles will rotate periodically. What is the future of combat air support? Constantly evolving and advancing. But what is this future looking like for us? For one, the Tampas aircraft is at its forefront of modern technology and solidifies the UK's role as the leading force in combat aviation, at least. But is this to be believed, considering the other advancement by other countries such as the US, China and Russia in aviation military support? Is it justified to consider the UK's role as the leading force? Some would disagree. And it's through these disagreements that has probably sparked conversation to bring this partnership to light that in fact, they're actually not leading force in combat aviation. And perhaps in order to regain said strength, they need more collaborative partnerships to develop more advanced aerial vehicle, more advanced aviation fighter jets. So this international agreement with the UK, Japan and Italy to create the next generation combat aircraft, the innovation stealth fighter will process supersonic capabilities and incorporate state of the art technology. But I hear you're asking, what does this all mean? Here's an understanding of what that really means. The treaty signifies a crucial milestone in the groundbreaking global combat air program and its headquarter will be located in Britain. That's the first one. Its headquarter will be located in Britain. Second, set to launch in 2035. That is quite some time away. But with these type of technology, they really need true time to develop and time to come to true fruition. This aerial combat plane strive to utilize cutting edge technology and emerges as top line fighter jet with seamless integration. Will it be able to compete with the most advanced jets out there in the sky today? The aim is for flexibility and connectivity for global use. The project has also foresees the generation of numerous highly trained job opportunities in the UK and collaborating nations within the next decade and beyond. This stealth fighter jet, let's understand the manufacturers and the developers a little bit more. The new supersonic jet, set to have a formidable radar system, capable of delivering 10,000 times the amount of data compared to the existing system. This will undoubtedly provide a divisive edge in combat situations. Spearheading this project in the UK is BAE Systems, a strong collaboration with Rolls-Royce, Leonardo UK and MBDA UK. The extensive supply chain from various regions of the country also plays an integral role. Joining forces with lead companies from Japan and Italy, they are dedicated to advancing the design and production of this aircraft. The UK Defence Secretary, 
held a successful meeting with its counterparts from Japan and Italy in Tokyo. This significant treaty signing marks a year since the official launch of the GCAP program, and it signifies the tremendous advancement made in the development of the next generation fighter jet. This is set to commence in 2025. The first CEO will be held from Japan and oversees crucial responsibilities such as enhancing military capabilities, strengthening combat air industries, and achieving cost effective for all parties involved. In the last five years, the MOD has invested £2 billion in the UK technology and skill development for combat air. Industries have also contributed an additional £600 million to support this program. GCAP is a critical initiative for maintaining stability in the European, Atlantic, Indo-Pacific and global security landscape. It serves as a prime example of the UK's leadership in advancing military capabilities to deter and to combat threat against both our nations and allies. Now, this project is said to breathe new innovation in aerial combat vehicle development for the UK, Italy and Japan, of course. But the impact that this will have will be quite significant because this is first of many partnerships to come in my prediction. From face value, things are moving quite rapidly, fast growing in this world, especially in the development in weaponry system, aviation weaponry systems are becoming more critical to warfare. How important will this development be for the UK, Italy and Japan is unheard of. It is beyond important, beyond critical. It is perhaps one of the most important military development currently for these countries jointly. So to end off our video, just to have a quick look at the current UK defense, the F 35B Lightning is currently the UK's most advanced aircraft in many's opinion. A combined effort from the Royal Navy and RAF has resulted in a 161 million contract to maintain and support these stealth jets. The investment will keep approximately 140 UK workers employed at the RAF Marham, which serves as the base for the UK Lightning Force. This new agreement replaces the previous one, set to expire this year and was formally signed by the US Joint Program Office and Lockheed Martin, with the BAE system as the subcontractor responsible for carrying out the work through 2027. The agreement ensures continued support for the F-35 fleet, granting the UK greater operational flexibilities and maximizing flying time while also providing essential resources for mission planning, training, maintenance, the state-of-the-art multi-role aircraft is utilized by both the Royal Navy and the RAF. This is the current situation for the UK's most advanced aerial protection vehicles. So, we'd like to hear your opinion on this new agreement between these three countries. Is it critical? Is it extremely important? Is it very much needed? And should something like this have been done a lot sooner? Thank you for watching, subscribe to see more, leave a like, leave a comment and of course I'll see you in our next video.